going to do a tutorial featuring the Sleek Ultra Mats Dark Palette. When I first got this palette, I didn't really like it, but when I started working with it, uh, the powders, like the eyeshadows, really weren't that powdery and like loose and chalky as Sleek normally is. It's been super, super hot in the Netherlands lately, and even now it's really hot. And I've been wearing like mascara and a lip gloss, and that's not true, I don't wear lip gloss. I've been wearing like really soft colors and I was like I want to go goth today I want to go edgy I want to go dark I'm just not gonna give a crap about it so without any further ado let's go to the tutorial and all uh, yeah of course the first thing you want to do is apply a base to your eyelids to prevent the eyeshadow from creasing and the one I'm using is my MAC soft ochre paint pot I'm gonna start off by using minted eye coal by MAC and I'm gonna start off by aligning that on my lower lash line and quite thickly because this is sort of like an edgy gothy look so we can go quite thick underneath I'm gonna leave a really small spot open and that is gonna really work nicely with the green uh, glitter highlight later on. I'm gonna take the dark green eyeshadow from the Sleek Ultra Mets Dark Palette and with that eyeshadow I'm just setting that eye coal. I'm taking a smaller brush and filling up that line as well. Remember that spot we want to leave open for later on. And then with the green, start winging it out. Now I'm taking my chromographic eye pencil in Marine Ultra. And with that, you're going to cut your crease. And I'm going to go all the way in. And then I'm going to make it slightly thicker. And I'm going to take this dark navy blue color from the Sleek palette. And with that, I'm going to set the MAC Marine Ultra Chromographic Pencil. Now, I'm going to start blending it out and going up with that marine color only for now. And you really want to take your time blending this look because it's a matte palette. And matte eyeshadows are one of the hardest things to ever blend. I'm now going to take this sort of like jeans colored eyeshadow from the palette and I'm going to start blending that above the navy blue. So that is sort of going even higher up. And yes, I'm even going all the way to my nose line right here because it's nice and edgy. So just keep blending and reapplying. For my lid, I'm going to use this beautiful purple color. And really simply just pack that on to the lid, but leaving this outer part free. I'm going to take the dark navy blue again and mix it with the black. And I'm going to put that on my outer remaining corner that is free. I'm going to go back into the jeans blue and blend that crease out a little bit more. It's all about blending, people. And I say that a lot in my videos lately. I should get a new dictionary or something. That should be very well smoothed out. I'm even going to take a bit of that gray color to blend the crease out even more. Just really lightly buff the edges. Now I'm going to go into the white and just a tad teeny bit of that cream color. And with that, I am going to highlight my brow bone. And now is the perfect time to, with that white highlight color, blend down the blue as well. Now because this look is so, so matte, I'm kind of missing shimmer a bit. So I'm going to take this MAC eyeshadow in Crystal Avalanche and highlight my brow bone with that. Just to give it a 
really tiny bit of shimmer. So for my glitter, I'm using the Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics OCC Glitter in Mint. And my base to make it stick is the Lit Glitter Clearly Liquid Glitter Base. First, just putting the glitter base where I want my glitter to stick to. And then I'm going to go into my Mint Glitter by OCC and go over that. And I'm filling up the gap that we had earlier. And just blend it to like middle of your lower lash line. Oh, I love glitter smoky eyes. For my waterline, I'm going to use the MAC uh, Chromographic Eye Pencil in NW25 and NC30. And then for my mascara, I'm using the usual, which is the uh, Makeup Studio Mascara in Waterproof 3D Extra Black. For my cheeks, I first contoured with NYX or NYX Blush in Taupe, so that is my contour. Then as a really, really soft blush, I didn't apply a really whole bunch of blush because the eyes are so uh, dramatic. I used Pink Tea by MAC and that is a really nice neutral color. So I used that as a blush and then as a highlight, I used the Face Front um, Flashlight highlight powder in auto focus. This is insanely pretty and my mom sells it in her web shop So please go check that out now for my lips. You have a lot of options um, You can go if you really want to make this like goth you can go so dark and for that I suggest this MAC lip mix in burgundy and that is the most gorgeous dark deep red burgundy color ever it's way darker in the pot than on the skin i mean how gorgeous would that be with this look i also love to mix a little bit of belladonna by occ into the mix to make it a little bit more purple or just belladonna alone for a really nice bright purple lip but for what i'm wearing right now this is myth lipstick by mac which is sort of like a dead um, lip color for dead people basically. It's, I would describe the color as being a zombie in The Walking Dead but you got lucky and you became like a pretty zombie and you could still wear myth. And then on the like the middle and uh, like the inside of my lip I put um, this OCC Lip Tar in Digitalist and then I recently saw Peter Lude's new video and he did a really cool trick with like a highlighter on his cupid's butt and like right there. So I did that with my Whisper of Guilt uh, Extra Dimension Skin Finish by MAC. I put that on my Cupid's bow and then also here in the middle. So yeah guys, that completes this tutorial featuring the Sleek Ultra Mets Dark um, palette. And the colors are insanely pretty. I love everything. You could go really dark like I did today. You could go really lightly. Um, so this is definitely a must have. Go check it out at ellisjoe.com. For a full list of every single product used, go to my website, NikkiTutorials.com. Follow me on Twitter and uh, Facebook, which is Nikki Tutorials. And other than that, I really want to thank you for watching again. And it really means a lot. And uh, hopefully I will see you guys next time. Yeah. Bye, guys.